Rottweilers, one of the most famous dog breeds on the planet. They are mainly known for their loyalty, their guarding ability, their intelligence and not to mention their super strength. But have you ever wondered what would a Rottweiler and a Chihuahua crossbreed would look like? Or uh, a crossbreed of a Rottweiler and a Golden Retriever? Well, hold on tight because today we're going to talk about the 5 Rottweiler mixed breed dogs which you might don't know about. So first up, starting with the most weirdest one. Number 1. Chihuahua or Rottweiler. This dog is a cross between a Rottweiler and a Chihuahua. And I really don't understand why people decided to breed them together. One is a large size and powerful dog breed and another one is one of the smallest dog breeds in the world. There's no match in between both the breeds, you see? Except both are dogs. Chihuahuas are typically in between small to medium sized dogs averaging around 10 to 18 inches and weighing between 20 to 50 pounds. Now, talking about their temperament, so they may be affectionate and uh, loyal like a Rottweiler or maybe high strung and alert and aggressive like a Chihuahua. But whatever it is, it's important to properly socialize and train your dog from a young age to ensure they develop good behavior. Although that's another thing that Chihuahuas are quite rare dogs, you won't find them easily. On the number 2, we have a Spitweiler. The Pitweiler is a mix between a Rottweiler and a Pitbull Terrier and these dogs inherit some of the best traits from both of their parents. They are known for being loyal, protective and they are highly trainable dogs. Although some individuals might develop aggressive behavior towards strangers or uh, other pets and animals which is mainly because of their genetics you know, the Rottweiler and Pitbull Terrier. But the soul can be managed by proper training and socialization from a young age. And as I mentioned earlier, they are highly trainable dogs. Spitwallers are medium to large size dogs and usually have a broad head and muscular body structure similar to a Rottweiler. And uh, unlike Chihuahuas, Pitwallers are quite popular crossbreed dogs and uh, you may find one of them in your nearest dog shelter. Now, on the number 3, we have a Saint Waller or Rotten Buds. These dogs are quite interesting because they're a mix of a two breed with very distinct characteristics. Rottweilers are known for their loyalty, their protective instincts, while Saint Bernards are known for their gentle nature and their love for people. And when you mix these two breeds together, you get a dog that can be both protective as well as a loving companion. Saint Wallers are massive dogs that can easily weigh over 100 pounds. So if you're thinking about getting a Saint Waller, then make sure you have plenty of space for them to run and play. Now if you talk about their physical appearance, so they commonly have a golden brown or a dark brown coat color with a black snout. And I don't know why this coat color makes them look like incredibly sweet dogs. Comment down if you agree with me. Now on the number 4 we have this Golden Rotty. This dog is a cross between the Golden Retriever and the Rottweiler. Golden Rotties typically have a medium to large size and can weigh anywhere from 70 to 110 pounds. And yeah, they have a thick shiny coat similar to a Golden Retriever that can range in color from black to brown with some even having golden hue to it. One of the best things about Golden Rotties is their temperament. They are known to be friendly, affectionate and loyal to their families, making them a great, great family dogs. But yeah, just like any other dog, Golden Rotties also need proper socialization and at least basic training. They are quite intelligent, so training them wouldn't be a problem for you. Now, on the number 5 we have is Rotsky. When you crossbreed a Rottweiler and Siberian Husky together, you get a Rotsky. And they are my favorite one on this list. The most distinctive feature about Rotskys is their bright shiny blue eyes. Well, not every one of them has these bright blue eyes, but yeah, they look amazing with that. Now, if we talk about their personality, so Rotskys are known for being a bit stubborn and uh, independent at times and all the credit for this goes to the Siberian Husky genetics. Rotskys are naturally suspicious of strangers and can be quite territorial, so if you're thinking about getting one, 
It's important to teach them how to interact with people and other animals in a friendly and calm manner. Overall, I would say they can be a perfect companion for you, but proper socialization and uh, introduction to different environments is necessary for them. So that's it for today and uh, if you have any questions related to dogs then you can ask me in the comment section below and uh, if you love these type of dog related content then a subscribe to this channel from you would be great. So I'll see you at the next one. Till then, peace out.